We've got an update for you on the tropics and things are really starting to move again. More concerns for the Gulf of Mexico. We are into the last month of the hurricane season. Traditionally, things wind down. Not really the case just yet. Got a couple areas we're watching. Patty is still out there on the other side of the Atlantic, actually approaching Portugal right now, but weakening. It's a minimal tropical storm, so it looks like maybe a rainmaker for Portugal and parts in Spain, or maybe it moves a little farther to the north. But at any rate, no concern to the U.S. The next one, though, that we are concerned with will likely become Rafael. So, again, while we don't have much going on just yet, the Gulf of Mexico quiet for now, things are going to change as this area, PTC number 18, that's potential tropical cyclone number 18, eventually gets better organized. And you can see the water temperature still in the 80s for the Caribbean. So a lot of warmth to work with there. As you can see, also, we have tropical storm warnings up for Jamaica and a hurricane watch up for the Cayman Islands. This system is down to the south and forecast to strengthen, maybe becoming tropical storm Raphael sometime later today or tonight. Uh, as we go through the day Tuesday, it's expected to turn, turn more to the northwest. Movement right now is north at about 7, but it is forecast to uh, pick up more of a northwesterly trajectory and then strengthen to a hurricane before passing over the western tip of Cuba and heading into the Gulf of Mexico. Now, this is the official forecast from the Hurricane Center, and Again, they do carry it through the central and then northern parts of the Gulf, weakening it a little bit before getting it close to the Louisiana border. This is largely based on the GFS model. We'll take a look at the spaghetti plots, and you can see how most of the models do bring it up into this general area. A couple bend it back over a little bit more to the west. I'm going to show you uh, the European model compared to the GFS, and you'll see where they kind of get that idea a little bit. But in general, most of the models really do carry it up into this area. So that's what the Hurricane Center is going with. Here's a look at the GFS model, the American model. Again, strengthening the system as we we go through Tuesday into Wednesday. By Wednesday morning, this could be a hurricane bearing down again on the western part of Cuba, then crossing over and into the Gulf of Mexico as another hurricane in the Gulf. So folks in Florida will be watching with great interest. Certainly folks up across parts of Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana, they're going to be wondering about this. It is forecast to track a little bit more to the west of what this position is. However, it looks like it could bring some more rain and maybe push some storm surge up towards this area, again, at least churning up the sea. So this is something we're going to be watching carefully. This is by Friday, early Friday morning, and then you can see as we go later Friday, it kind of turns a little bit more to the west. Now, what I'm showing you, the GFS model, the American model I just showed you is kind of indicated with the yellow rings here. The euro is the red, and you'll notice there's not a real strong signature. The GFS says, yeah, hurricane right here through the Gulf. The euro is kind of saying, well, there's an area of low pressure. It's not quite as impressive, and they keep it kind of moving a little more to the west, as you'll see. Again, the GFS through Friday, and there you go, into early Saturday. It weakens and then kind of makes a landfall coming up into Louisiana. That's what the GFS does as you go out through Saturday. The euro, on the other hand, pulls this thing westward and starts to strengthen it a little bit over the weekend kind of bringing it along through Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday, tracking it more this way. So not a certainty that this would continue this way, but the GFS carries it towards Louisiana, and then the Euro brings it more to the west and kind of fizzles it out before making landfall probably south of Brownsville. All right, and we do have some frontal systems and uh, storm systems that would help maybe disrupt. I think that's why the Hurricane Center's going with that solution where they don't have as great a chance, you know, for this thing to maintain strength. They actually weaken it before it starts to interact with land. Here's a look at what's happening. The other area of interest right in here, only a 20% chance for development. It's really going to be interesting to see what happens with 
the uh, GFS, if this thing, if Raphael does develop, kind of takes some of the energy from that, it could disrupt this a little bit. So not a great chance of development, and none of the models really do too much with this, uh, but it is something that we'll watch over the coming five days or so as there's that 20% chance, something to watch. Remember, we've got storm systems coming through, and those will largely protect the U.S. from anything that develops down this way. It should kind of get swept up. But we'll keep an eye to it and let you know if anything does change. That's the way things are looking here. Again, it's one of those stretches where now that we're coming into the cooler months and the temperatures start to cool down, we get more active storm systems coming through. And again, our threat to the mid-Atlantic region does go down. We'll, of course, keep you updated on the tropics. So stay tuned for more from 13 News Now.